the difference between acute and chronic kidney disease is, a, you know, there's a quite a number of differences. Acute means that it's a sudden reduction in your function of the kidney, as opposed to chronic kidney disease, which means that it has happened for a bit longer. So many people have acute kidney injury, and most of the time it recovers. But chronic kidney disease means that you've had the problem for at least more than three months, or you have a structural problem in your kidney. Either you were born with it. So remember, most of us are born with two kidneys. They're located at the upper back. So there are people who are born with one kidney, or they're born with both kidneys, but either they are fused to each other or they're positioned wrong or they have another, a number of structural abnormalities. So all those constitute chronic kidney disease. While acute kidney injury is mostly reversible, chronic kidney disease um, is not reversible and it is in various stages. There are stages one to five. And as you go down the stages, by the time you're at stage five, means that your kidney function is very little and uh, you need help, you know, replacement of the kidney function. You need help with the kidney injury some of the times the patients will present with um, a sudden increase or a swelling of their lower limbs sometimes their faces they'll report either a change in the urine either a, a reduction in the amount of urine change in the color of urine or they have noticed some blood in the urine or that the urine is a bit foamy they might have headaches and when you measure their blood pressure the blood pressures might be high uh, vomiting nausea and vomiting especially when they have a lot of buildup of toxic waste in the body poor sleep, fatigue, amongst others. We manage acute kidney injury according to the cause of the rapid reduction in kidney function. For example, if you had diarrhea and you lost a lot of fluids, then we replace the fluids. If you have an overwhelming infection, we, we, we put in the appropriate antibiotics to, um, to clear the disease so that you can have a recovery of your kidney function. And if the kidney function, acute kidney function is because of massive blood loss, we manage by replacing the blood. There are patients who will respond to just that replacement, but there are patients who will require a few sessions of dialysis, which is cleaning up of the blood uh, through a machine, and then their kidney function recovers. For patients who have chronic kidney disease, we manage them according to an, a number of things. First of all, um, what was the initial cause of the insult to the kidney? The most common, one of the most common causes for our population is diabetes. Then after you have identified the cause and um, you manage it, you manage and try and slow down the ways that these conditions damage the kidney. The other thing is to classify the stage of chronic kidney disease. There are five stages of chronic kidney disease and the reduction in the different important functions of the kidney start at different times of the dysfunction. At stage three, you might find that a patient has anemia that's a reduction in blood level or problems with the calcium and phosphate which are important for the bone, then you manage accordingly. And if your patient progresses through the different stages and gets to stage five, which is end stage kidney disease, then we think of ways of replacing the kidney function. So you can manage the patient medically. Um, that's after having a discussion and seeing what they feel is most appropriate for them. But the other two better ways of managing the patient is through dialysis, which is cleaning the blood. Basically, one of the common ways of doing it is hemodialysis. We connect a tube into one of the big blood vessels and then draw this blood, put it in a machine, clean it up and return it. Or we do a kidney transplantation, which is basically getting a healthy kidney from a donor and placing it in the, in the abdomen of a patient who has reduced kidney function to help them recover some kidney function.